Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, and I'm welcoming you to part 8 of my Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Let's Play. And I've decided that for this episode I wanted to start on the file screen, I don't know why. Just makes it e makes it easier on me. So yeah, let's just get... What the hell is this? Why am I back in my house in Kokiri Forest? What? What? I, I thought I ended last episode outside of Castletown, but... what What is this? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why? Ah, oh, well, never mind. It doesn't matter anyways. Either way, uh, we have to go to somewhere in Hyrule Field before we move on to the next destination, which would be Death Mountain, as we learned from Impa in the last episode. Yeah, so before we do that, we're going to want to head to Lon Lon Ranch, which, uh, yeah, Malon and Talon, the people that we met at the castle, uh, they're gonna be there, and we're gonna do some interesting stuff there. Yeah, anyways... Uh, not much to talk about, really, while I go there. Um, what I'm doing right now, this is actually a back walking. And basically, you just hold L and move- and hold back on the control stick. Uh, the downside is that you can't turn, you just have to go in a straight line backwards. But the upside is that you can, um... Uh, that it goes a lot faster than normal walking. Yeah, and it's a lot better than also just running around and pressing the A button constantly to roll, because that also makes you go faster. Um, what am I doing? I didn't want to hit the stupid wall. Shut up, wall. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, what do you want, Nabby? Uh, what would Soraya say? I don't want to talk to Soraya. If I if I wanted to talk to Soraya, I would have talked to her while we were in Kokiri Forest, but I didn't, so screw off. Oh no, the skeletons, the style childs, that's scary. Oh, I can't see where I'm going anymore, I'm just gonna walk forward. Uh, oh, there it is, right here. This is where you want to be, just not on this side, I don't think. Unless I'm a complete dumbass and just walked right past the entrance or something. I don't think I did. Is it, isn't it right here? Yes, it is. Okay, thank goodness. I don't know if I can do anything here at night, though. Long, long ranch at night. There's, like, nothing here. You can hear crows and crap. Crows and crap. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. There's really nothing for you to do here at night, I don't think. I could, I could check this out, I guess. Yeah, Malin's gone to sleep. So, uh, we'll just wait till morning to do what we want to do in there. Or just wait till a later time. But what we might be able to do is go over here. Actually, there's a sculpture that you're going to want to pick up here. There's a few sc uh, There's a few sculptures. No. There's a few sculptures that you're going to be picking up in Long Long Ranch. But we don't have the necessary items to get most of them. So we're just going to get this one that's back here. Since uh, the sculptures will only appear at night time, most of them. So, yeah. And here's the one that we're after. Just on the back of this wooden thing. And that's five, I think. No, uh, that's six or something. I'm not, I don't even know. I'm not going to keep track of that. Th th I'm not going to keep track of that because that's really boring. I don't want to do that. You want to listen to that either, do you? No, I don't think you do. Anyways, uh, can we do this now? Uh, looks like we can. Yeah, there's some cows in here. You can talk to them, maybe. I don't know. No, you can just tart them. <laughs> Die cow, I want beef. I want beef. Give me some beef. Because hungry men need beef. <laughs> wow, that was a, that was completely simultaneous move from both of them. <laughs> How often does that ever happen? Anyways, here's a simple block puzzle. Uh well you can't pull that way, otherwise you're gonna crush yourself in the wall, dude. Like physics actually makes sense in this game on like Super Mario Sunshine or something. Anyways, uh, this block puzzle is not really too hard. I don't really have a sp specific what? There we go. Yeah, I don't really have a specific way that I do this. I just kind of do it as it comes. Um, uh, but basically, your goal is to get back here so that you can enter this crawl space. And you see that I is this the first one that we picked up in the, this LP? If so, this is a piece of heart. And collect four pieces total to get another heart container. More heart containers equals more life energy. Awesome. 
Uh, yeah, basically there's a bunch of those throughout the game. I'm going to be collecting all of them. It's going to be a 100% run, like I might have said earlier. Uh, yeah. So that's the first of many. Don't expect that to be the last one. I don't know, we might get another one in the next episode, or maybe this episode, I don't know. Uh, okay, so is there anything else for us to do here at Lawn Lawn Ranch? I don't think so. So let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. What do you say? Yeah, I only find it really rewarding to walk to like, do the back walk in Hyrule Field because um, when you're in like a closed area like Long Island Ranch or something or the Castle Town, when are you ever going in a straight line for that long? Like in Hyrule Field, you go in a straight line a lot, and so it's actually kind of beneficial to do that. But if you're in a confined space, then there's really no point. So, anyways, um, I think we're just going to go ahead and head to the next area. We're going to be coming back here probably in the next episode just to do some more crap here. So, yeah. This is also an effective means of getting away from the style childs, as you can see. I, they just kind of dis disappeared into the ground because you can go so much faster than them. They disappear rather quickly. Yeah, I guess you can turn, kind of, if you just go like that and then keep going backwards, but I don't think that's really a smart idea. So, anyways, um... Yeah, gained, gained another subscriber this week. So that's always good. What am I doing? Why did I hop into the river? Oh, yeah. I can't get out. I can't see what I'm doing. I can't see. It's so dark. Wow, fail. You just drowned yourself. Can I get up here? No, no, no. I'm failing. Uh, just get. Thank you, Link. Oh my gosh. Was that so hard? Th that wasn't so hard, was it? No. Fuzzy Bone. Yeah, Fuzzy Bone. You, you heard me right. Uh, and of course, just as we get over here, it turns into morning. So we really should head back to Lawn Lawn Ranch. But probably, with my luck, by the time we get back to Lawn Lawn Ranch, it's going to be nighttime again. And that will make me angry. So I'd rather just avoid that. Anyways, this is Kakariko Village. This is pretty much an every Zelda game that there's ever been. Except a few. Uh, yeah, I like this place. It's kind of interesting. You can do a few things here. F the first thing that you're probably going to want to do is actually go come over here and pick up this chicken. I said pick up this chicken. And it's just going to go crazy while sitting on top of your head. Don't poop on me, chicken, please. Whatever you do. And there's going to be like six... I think six or seven of these chickens that are spread, ar spread around throughout Kakariko Village. And what you want to do is you want to bring them all over here. But not all of them will be this simple. Like some chick, you'll have to use some chickens to get other chickens. Please, did you say please, please catch six more? Yeah, six more. So there's seven chickens. There's one right here, right in front of the pen. Uh, but apparently, she's this lady is allergic to cuckoos or something, so... Yeah, that's what they're actually called, not chickens, they're cuckoos. Jeez. No, don't put don't throw it right in front of that. Jeez. That's like if you were going to go into a room or something, and you just stopped in front of the door, it's like, okay. What? Yeah. Um, one kind of cleverly hidden cuckoo is right in this box. Obviously yeah, you can you, I never really explained that. You just roll into boxes with your A attack to, um, to break them open. Oh, it's kind of running low on time here. Hopefully I can get the ne another few cuckoos before running out of time. So what you want to do, yeah, you want to take one cuckoo, and then you throw it off. You throw it off this edge, and this, because this is the only way to get to this ledge, is by flying. So that's what you want to do. And then you can come back over here. And don't worry, the reward for this is actually rewarding. It's not like 10 rupees or something, because God knows that would suck. Um, yeah, especially if I actually had to do that, because this is a 100% run. So I'm going to be doing useful things, and also some not so useful things, because I just want to show everything. Because even if it's not useful to me, it might be useful to you. So, Of course, most of the stuff that you do in this game is useful for something. It's usually for a piece of heart or some other item. 
Uh, this one is not for a mandatory add-in because they would act they wouldn't really expect you to actually figure this out to continue the story. It's like, yeah, okay, what am I supposed to do? It's like kind of that would, that would just be kind of like how they just plop you right in the middle of the first Zelda and expect you to know what to do. Uh, oh, I think I need a cuckoo to get over there too, but that's okay because I know where I can get another cuckoo. Ah, uh, yeah, we're not gonna get all these in this episode. There's only like less than a minute left, so. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna end here, and in the next episode, we'll comp we'll finish getting the seven cuckoos for the lady and see what we get from it, because we're just in it for the reward. We don't we don't want to make this lady happy or anything, because we yeah we just want what she gives us. Material possessions are better than feelings, anyways. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing next time. So this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.